So now it's time for the $350,000 Racing and Sports Rising Sun for the three and four year old paces. First decision to be made is that of the connections of For Real Life. And Trent Dawson, his trainer, driver and owner has chosen barrier number four. I wasn't really prepared to, uh, to have first pick of the, uh, of the random ones, but uh, uh, yeah, as good as I could have hoped for, really. So that was my number one pick with the emergency going in three, and uh, um, yeah, really, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't really be happier with the draw. Real life, he's about to get to the inside. Can he pick up though? Big shadow into the home straight, claimed by So Serious. Bangkok DJ going to them. It's Bangkok DJ So Serious for real life, mate! He arrives for real life. You know, it's been he's, he was such a high graded horse, so he's come back and he's he's held himself really well. Um, you know, he's he's raced really well all season. Um, you know, today's not today starts to count now, so hopefully we uh, we can hold that form and and build on it. You know, I own the horse myself, so um, you know, it could, it could uh, you know potentially like set us up for a, for a really good future. But uh, he's been fantastic so far, so. I, I sort of say every time I go out there, you know, I, I'm not going to be disappointed because he's been a great horse to me anyway. So, um, you know, I, I just uh, I think he's I think he's ready to be a, be an open class horse now. Um, you know, he's seasoned up a bit, so I think uh, yeah, it's good to, good that we drew well enough to, to try and sort of show that where he's at. Uh, well, we got the Rising Sun and um, the Haydens the following week, so we, we we got sort of good draw there too. So. Um, yeah, we're just, I'm not even looking past that. Whatever happens after that is, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's just uh, we're, we're on a roller coaster by then anyway. But uh, yeah, I, once we get through those two, we'll, uh, we'll just see what happens. Pretty unlucky for real life so far, this preparation. So he's got a real chance to make something of that barrier draw. And we know he's a go forward horse. So I'm sure he'll be trying to get into a really prominent spot. And whilst maybe we don't see the picket fence form line that we come to expect, from him I think there's been genuine excuses and he's clearly been set towards this race and why wouldn't he be for the prize money that's on offer and this has been the race everybody's been talking about for weeks and months now so to see it finally come together have a Queensland owned horse as the current favourite we saw Queensland success last year with Leap to Fame but I think there's a good mix of plenty of locals probably the most we've seen in the race so far this time around and to have a really strong hope with Frankie Ferocious amongst many others I think the, the rising sun is a key form race for the Eureka with six positions available and this is the best form reference because the available horses for the Eureka are many of them going around in the rising sun so I think we'll see lots of movement and of course the Hayden to follow uh, when it comes to that race as well. We're thrilled to be involved. Uh, Harness Racing is really strong here in Queensland. It's a strong brand nationally and we're a global business and we know what uh, meetings and races like this means to places like Queensland but also the Australian calendar. It's a strong race, the barrier draw. Are there surprises? We've got a couple of uh, strong favourites uh, to, to follow but there's some value to be found otherwise.